was having a couple. Oh, and it looks like he's just going live. So in a couple minutes, I will be able to capture him and then we will have the stream going. This music's driving you crazy? Just you wait. <laughs> because I remember the moving gems on the title screen murdering my bitrate to Oh yeah. This like game. I'm surprised that the bitrate is staying as good as it is right now. did get here just in time. Come everybody, come and join the stream and get ready for some Peggy the Peach. Uh, part of it was tech issues and part of it was cat issues. We had both of those tales. I don't have a cat, so I don't have that part to mess with. Okay, I'm starting to not like the music anymore. <laughs> I'm kind of done with it. <laughs> well, could be worse. Could be the listening to the title screen theme of Spider-Man 3 for like 40 minutes. Oh my gosh. That, was. that one was pretty special. <laughs> oh. with, the seasick with the seasickness scrolling. Oh yeah, it's just he bobs up and down for forever. Forever, yep, because there's no demo or story or anything that happens if you leave it running. Yeah, he just is very excited to be Spider-Man. Okay. Dude, this is this is gonna suck. John is gonna be showing up in just a tiny bit. Oh yeah, the mute. Why would so, the music loop? So, uh, Cuso Grande, no. I'm in the losers bracket. This is my yeah, last chance. If I fail this, I'm out. Uh, we're playing Peggy the Peach. Darn it! Now I'm. Which really is a video game? Question mark. I can't even go back. Only time will tell. <laughs> it, it's a thing. Unless this is gonna like, suck. Yeah, scratch that idea. <clears throat> yeah, that, that, that's a very real possibility, too. Oh, hang on. Uh, does Proton John not have the scrolling diamonds on his loading screen for some reason? Because let me go ahead and show what I'm seeing. Here's a preview of what you're about to see for garbage. Yeah, that's really weird. Uh, the game looks I hope right, his, I hope his computer is powerful enough to handle <laughs> the powers of Peggy the Peach. Which GM chose this? Kate chose yeah, this, you so you can blame job. Kate for this. Yeah, it looks like Kate is going to have them go into stage one just to make sure that the game looks the same for both of them. This is going to be trash, dude. Like, get ready. Case in point. Look at this. Just look. I know. Too many pixels. Get ready. Get ready for an hour of this. It'll be great. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everybody's oh. reactions. I'm loving it. We've got an hour of this. We haven't even started. I'm gonna refresh this because his chat's not showing up for some reason. I'm going to need it. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm thinking, because this is a weird game, weird's putting it lightly, uh, there is the potential for some issues. 
I mean, they look the same to me now that they've actually started the first stage. There is some concern that, <laughs> that my game might not be working right. Good. Jeff, are you here? Is there a problem with the Windows? <laughs> my God, version? I don't believe it. I'm typing that right now. Is there a problem with the Windows 10 version? I think that's oh yeah and actually you know what that's kind of I think when I when I played this Jeff had me play the Windows 7 version I think so even though I, w I have Windows 10 he said to play the Windows 7 version instead. oh really and I remember it running fine on my Windows 10 PC well I go get the Windows 7 version hang on relatively okay so it looks like we definitely need to go with the Windows 7 version yeah we're chilling a little bit getting everything ready uh apparently the windows 10 version has messed up graphics oh no not messed up graphics okay whatever will i do <laughs> uh that's okay uh, you know every once in a while it takes a little while to get things set up especially if it's an obscure game like peggy the peach Oh god, I can have two instances of this garbage running. Let me turn this off now. You mean you mean uh Jujai didn't have a team of uh support people to test it for Windows 10 compatibility? As far as I know they didn't. <laughs> How do I turn this shit off? Okay, Alt F4 so is not turning this off. How do I get out of this? Tight until uh, we have everything working um, just fine. Wait, Jeff said they tested in Windows 10 enough to know that it doesn't work. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. Good God. Probably still runs smoother in Windows 10 than the Demon Rush. Oh my All right, buckle up, because this one's probably not going to be muted. Is gonna be making me play that fairly soon. Windows protected your PC. I'm sorry, PC. I don't know better. You can't, you can't world record, though. That's That can only happen during <clears throat> marathons. I know, right? All my computer knows is Peggy it's the Peach now. The rule. You can't just... You can't just play and beat the record for Demon Rush whenever you want. You gotta Ooh, that's high volume. Let's turn that down to, like, there. 7. So aspiring to get a world record, you know. Don't do it right now. Oh, there's there's narration. Trellish. Wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a four-way the demon rush race for maximum. Uh, every every one of them as they finish can record. Oh, okay. A four-way demon. Nope. Oh my god! We all get a record. I preferred it without that! Just start like five minutes apart, okay? Oh my god, that's frightening! <laughs> okay, uh, Jesus! Jesus. Yeah, Why does it scream? Uh, all it knows is pain! Oh, God. All right. <laughs> I guess that's good. Just a tiny bit. A tiny bit. Wait, she doesn't have a trademark. She has a DM. Don Trollmark. Don Trollmark. All right, so I'm going to have to mute myself here in a minute. Uh, Hour-long race. Go to twitch.tv slash brosentia, B-R-O-S-S-E-N-T-I-A, for the full race feed with commentary, the, the voices you hear in the background there. Uh, uh, this is going to suck. <laughs> some pretty serious eyelashes. Okay, just trying to get confirmation from Mr. Proton John. If he is 
ready. If you're one of the streamers, be sure to mute and pause my stream. Oh, I can I can unmute myself. I just don't want you to hear me swearing for the next hour more than usual. Wish them the best of luck because we are doing <sighs> Later guys, wish me luck. See you on the other side. Discord. That's right. We're actually going to start this match.
And that's what I was waiting for. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we were not able to get it working after that level. You know, sometimes this happens. This isn't the first time that we've had to do a redraw due to game issues. I mean, we had that happen with Tube, and we had it happen with uh, a DOS game. I can't remember what it was, but for some reason they kept getting a softball. Uh, so, you know, it's the game, and sometimes with terrible video games, you never know if you're going to uh, run <sighs> or not. So, yeah, we got issues today. It's probably for the best, actually, because it seemed like I was behind that entire time until Meekin's game locked, huh? So it looks okay, like we're redoing I'm this. I'm checking right now to see how time looks, because if they do have time, we could do a redraw. Meekin says that they are fine time-wise. Oh no, looks like we are in fact just gonna re-roll the game here right now. And so does John. Hey, hey, Quexel, it looks like we're going to be having another game. I thought the big red gems were also for one-ups. That's what the uh, the manual made me think. That's why I was actually going out of way to get them. Hopefully it's not Peggy 3. <laughs> So yeah, we, hey, we're not here to disappoint. Peggy the Peach is the winner of this round, okay? Nobody else wins, just Peggy. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how I feel about this, bro. To self, if we ever do Peggy the Peach again, make sure that both players are in Windows 10. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, Kate is currently uh, giving out different options. So as they work on getting everything set up, I do want to let everybody know uh, this is the loser's bra- Yeah, this was professionally put together, okay, I promise. The title screen, professional loser's bracket, uh, round two theme. Super hunchback. Nightmares. Now, the person who's eliminated during this specific match they will be out of the tournament but they will win a ten dollar or ten dollars worth of steam games as well as neil green's faithful findings <laughs> now <laughs> Fucking if faithful you've never findings. seen faithful findings just know that it's about hackers and movies about hackers are always solid <laughs> <laughs> well i guess i can turn this off now uh, as in they, they likely constitute of a solid uh, and he also, uh, it, it deals with social issues. He hacks into This the game government. does not want to turn off. Uh, Oof. This isn't really spoiling. I had a control delete this last time, I gotta do it again. Because it doesn't ever, well, it shows Action game, 32-bit, get the fuck out of here. He hacks into a computer, and he's married, and there's unrequited love. Okay, so much love. And Kate, it looks like the game may be confirmed, the other game that we're having. Quetzal, I don't know if you know What the hell is Super Hunchback? Uh, I feel like I've heard of it. Game Kate I definitely don't know Discord, it. I don't think I've heard of. <laughs> oh, I know this. <sighs> How you guys doing? This is not how I thought my elimination oh, match would I go. It. It's, uh, it, it's a game that was previously in Cusa Grande. So, yeah, Kate is currently working on grabbing oh, everything. Oh, God, what so is this? Have, uh, the game oh, my God, this is an actual game? game? With that. Let's see what happens I if I click desktop. Will it show the correct one? Yes. Look at that. Day. Look at this! You know, every once in a while, you run into issues with certain bad video games, but what can you say? You know, that, that's just... I might be screwed on this one. Crumbles. Not the peach gets sliced. A series of nine levels, each divided into five sections. <laughs> I suppose so. I, to introduce the game, I really wanted to play that. Millions of peaches, uh, peaches for me. You know. If you know that game. Or that music. <laughs> that music. The President's United States of America. 
Well, I'll go ahead. It looks like we are having an intermission uh, for a little bit, but, you know, there's no reason I can't introduce what the game is going to be. All right, well, let's hear what we're the hell we're going to play here. There's the ROM. Yeah, yeah, we can introduce this. That'd be fine. <laughs> ah, yes, magical words. What wait, wait, put another Ritz! Be? Does anybody have any idea? Okay, just... We've got putting on the Ritz playing a little bit on... The music here. Any ideas? Putting on the Ritz, yeah, what could we possibly have? This is definitely a game that was made uh, for the Game Boy, I believe. I'm changing my mind. I'm game playing this game Super instead. Hunchback. An ocean game, Imagineer. Now, I believe we had this game in Tusa Grande, not the pre, not this current tournament. Uh, and it's one that I really enjoyed. And yeah, this is definitely an ocean game. Super you can't stop hunchback. me, Procentra. I'm playing Turtles in Time instead. Ah, uh, it's a game where oh, you man. play a hunchback. Every character in that in that artwork is amazing looking. They're so good. Especially the the guard picking his nose in the bottom middle too. Oh, he he kind of is. All right, quick controller check. I'm, oh I'm my sure that's what god! What the is, fuck what is this? Like. Yeah, Ocean definitely makes the best games. Wait, what are my buttons mapped to on this? <laughs> Up, down, left, wow. right, start, select. I'm always excited though for Game Boy games. They make me happy. B A. No, that's correct. And you know, uh, even more so than. Uh, oh my God! Is both are both buttons just jump? Boy games, we've had oh a lot of boy! Game boy color. So Back to trails in time. We have a game boy that's all I can do for a button check. It's kind of exciting because it's going back to the original handheld. Uh, and some of the controls can be uh, pretty reliable, but some are not. And we're going to see a little bit of pain with this game. Now, is it as bad, bad as Peggy the Peach? I'm not sure. Because that was pretty bad, Flexel. Well, bad to run on Windows 7, I guess. I didn't honestly think it was bad to control. <laughs> bad to run on Windows, on Windows 7. Yeah, it's... Well, I think it's visually scary, and the audio... Yeah, it's nightmare fuel, the music's a little questionable as a far little. as being music, and... Uh... It, it's very questionable. <laughs> and it, can, and it, it leads to a lot of confusion about what a juja is. I'm worried now. I don't know. Based on how that last race was going... Yeah, I... Now I'm nervous. Hmm. I thought that it was real. Oh my gosh, but I guess not. Yeah, I thought we were dealing with, like, an, some kind of obscure console that was only released in, uh, another country. <sighs> But a glitch in your favor? I mean, sort of, okay. but they were going to get so the extra time no matter what. So, and based on how far behind was I is probably the better question to you guys. Before his crash. Let's see, down and up have no use, just left and right okay. movement. B has okay, no I use, know, which is weird because it definitely also jumped. Simple. Uh, left moves left, right moves right. Down and up, don't do like half a stage, a whole level, moves, half a level, whole. So yeah, like not the best situation. And based on how I was playing in the other stages, not much better because there were so many times I went the wrong way in the maze and just had to backtrack. So it's probably a good thing we're switching games. That's what it seems like. Okay. Oh, up and down, no use. Either means there's no ladders or doors, or you uh, have really goofy controls to use them. Hey, Shredder, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag! Big Apple, 3 <laughs> I just love it. You, you, you 
use left and right and A. That's Oops. my kind of game. Oh, Joy Key is still on. I thought I closed it. <laughs> I wonder. I need a... Part of me does find it kind of amusing to see uh, to see a, a Nintendo game that has the word Super in it. It's not for the Super Nintendo. Well, I guess I'll chill with you guys while I'm waiting, because yeah, uh, like, Mikan's going to be a minute. Super Nintendo launched like half of the game library. Also, with the word Super. How you guys and doing? Games like, uh, Super Contra, I think. Oh, yeah. And, and then we have Super Hunchback, which are not in the Super Nintendo. It, it, it's weird, yeah, because Super Nintendo did come out, but for some reason... Hang on, I gotta reset really this, because I don't have auto manual dash on. It's messing me up. And it's on normal, which is also throwing me off. I'd rather play on hard. <laughs> Megan's like, the only button is jump? Nice. It'll be straightforward enough uh, for them. <laughs> how are you? How about you? So all the eh, doing all right. Look, always getting nervous before these matches, which sucks. So now I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, God, my stomach's getting like tied up in knots. This is the thing I hate about all the tournaments I love to enter: is that eventually my body's like, hey. Guess what? Stress at once. <laughs> Every morning before one of these tournaments, or afternoon, whatever you want to call it, I always get stomach sick, which sucks. But at least usually when the actual match goes, I'm fine. So it's nothing to blame. It's just, it's just an annoying like, prerequisite to me being ready for a, for a tournament match. Fester's Quest was Sunsoft. Man. Man, I love Fester's Quest. <laughs> oh. It's bad, but I. I love think they're actually it. ready. I may, I may or may not have played it enough as a kid to actually beat it, thanks to the power. All right, is this actually in? Controllers. Wait, really? Mmm. Dude, is Twitch glitching for anyone else today too? Using turbo controller. What kind hey, of parallel Fester's universe are we in right now? This is Fester's Quest we're talking about, along with uh, there it is. It is in there. Ma probably the no, not Smash Brothers Melee. Melee. Jesus. Turbo controller for as a kid that was buying healing potions in Final Fantasy One because you can only do those. No, stop time. trying to give me melee. Okay, we've got the music and everybody is. There we go. Finally, it took like five yeah, tries. Did you want me to stick around for this then, or do you have somebody else lined up that actually knows this game? Um, I don't think I do have any. Hunchback for Smash? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, I gotta mute them, so let's see how this goes. Again, I'm gonna mute myself too, wish me luck. See you in an hour. Or half hour if something breaks again. God damn. Putting on the Ritz.
John, though, got through part of the snow level. Meekins made it all the way <sighs> to al almost the end of stage six. Proton John was on stage seven, I believe. And that is definitely an amazing match. Yeah, oh, Proton John takes the victory shit. there. Feel free to hop into voice. Come to chat if you would like. I see... I see Meekins hopping here. Hello, Meekin. Hey, how's it going? Going well. Right, he's going to because me. Peggy was actually a good game and controlled awesome, and then we got this heaping pile of crap. Wait, what was wrong with this game? This game kicked ass! Yo, I want to speedrun this! <laughs> Go wow, <next>. different <laughs> opinions here. So, I, wait, 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 why is there such a differing of opinions with Super Hunchback? Because What's going I spent on? 40 minutes on that stupid jump with the rope. Oh, the ice one? Yeah, that yeah. was probably the worst part, honestly. I spent probably 40 minutes of my time there, not not even exaggerating at all. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the, the fire jump with the two ropes also sucks because they can desync, so that was great. Okay, that sounds pretty awful. Just no, for reference, I, uh... both of you... Both of you made more progress than the two players that we had the previous time that we had this game. Nice. So congrats to you. They got stuck on the rope section. Couldn't pass well, it. After that, I didn't have any issue. I was plowing through that after I, you know, actually got past it. Oh, yeah. Um, so the game wasn't that difficult, I thought, except for that one specific instance. And just... the hut didn't really give off any information that I found useful. <laughs> what? Like, the hut was... Pretty clear. The extra was for the extra lives. The hearts were your lives. Uh, the I, score combo figured, was the bells. I thought the numbers were how many lives I had. Oh, no. Uh, like uh, They increased every time I got um, all the bells. Every time I got the row of five bells, it went up by one. So I figured getting five bells gives you an extra life. No, I think and that's then, why the, the X was there, to show you it was a multiplier. Well, that's... Yeah. I also don't put it past this game just to put an X there for no reason fair this, this is ocean so <laughs> it is ocean but yeah so john why did you have fun with this game like i, 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 I fully understand meekin's reasoning there i don't know the the physics seemed fine once you got used to it the only issue i had was obviously the ice physics and when you s made a jump and then stopped moving for a second you lost all your jump momentum which messed me up during the uh, the ball and chain parts but uh, I don't know, like, yeah. it was pretty straightforward. You can kind of jump on everything. The only thing that sucked was uh, knowing when to avoid those insta-kill traps, like the fireball cannons. Yeah, the fireballs, there were so many times that you just, both of you, I think, jumped and a fireball suddenly shows up there. There's no way to know. Uh, at least right now, maybe if you do speed run this, which you would be the first runner yeah. in the world, <laughs> Mr. Proton John, uh... Hey, the time you know, there might be some 10 second long play. I feel like if I had randomly gotten lucky and got that rope jump like my first or second try, uh, I would have like breezed through it and not have any issues with the game. But it's really only that specific part I had a lot of trouble with. Yeah, that, that was where I came over really the first time. There's a nasty too. climb though. Uh, and Proton John got a game over on the big climb at the end of stage six. Uh, but then he was able to get past that. We, I, I was excited to see how you would do on that Plime Meekin because there are a lot of extra lives there. Uh, it definitely gives you several chances to get through there, but it's tough. Can we go back to like talking about Peggy? Because that guy yeah. is pretty good. <laughs> you know, Meekin, I think that the reason... I, I'm pretty sure the reason it didn't work for you is because you have Windows 7, the intended operating system for Peggy the Peach. <laughs> That and it only works on Windows 10. Everybody else played on Windows 10. I don't know, man. That but says XP and Vista Windows in the file name. Yeah, it <laughs> does. I mean, I mean, yeah. Could have busted out my does. old XP laptop. Would have been great. <laughs> I just love it. Oh. Well, Proton John, you will be moving on. Let me tell you, uh, the next round for the loser's bracket will be not another platformer, which means it's not going to be a platforming game. Uh, and I know that you excel with platformers. Oh, uh, crud. Yeah. Wait, I th we'll oh, wait, wait, it's not... Oh, wait, it's, it's not... not a platform. No, I thought it was uh, Gauntlet Round. It's not Gauntlet? Uh, not for the loser's bracket. Ooh. 
Yeah, so you will be playing a game that's not a platformer. After that will come the gauntlet for you. Yeah, the, the benefit as well as the terribleness of going to the loser's bracket is that there are more rounds. Hmm. Get excited. <laughs> Get hype. <laughs> yeah, that means more bad games because you lost. Meekins, I am sorry you are out of the tournament, but again, I'll buy up to $10 worth of games on Steam for you, as well as Fateful Findings. Just if you do want that, send me your address. Ooh, I can marathon that with um the other one, the Adam Sandler movie that I... Jack and Jill? <laughs> yeah, I was happy to have forgotten the name, but... Thanks. <laughs> Oh, I'll never forget. <laughs> Wait, were we supposed to get Jack, Jack and Jill and for Kuso too? Uh, Jack and Jill was for the original, I think. What was the What was the two prize? Was it just the Steam game? Troll two. Troll two. Oh, I didn't get Troll two. Wait, John. Actually, I don't, think, I don't think I don't think I don't think I got my Steam credit either. Actually. Okay, John. Well, you fishy. need to message me. I'll go back and figure out how much you won. <laughs> John, you're making my life hard. That's what I'm here for, Brosentia. You made me play what two games today. <laughs> I, I would have made you play three if I had the chance. Yeah. Next time, <laughs> if I ever upgrade my PC, I want a rematch for Peggy. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll play Peggy again. You were kicking my butt, though, on that one. I can tell you that much. I, I don't know. I actually really like that game, even though it's visually scarring. I think it's a blast. Did you oh, yeah, the... ever find a way to go faster upwards? That was my main issue. Or is there no, no way to go faster upwards? Oh. I never did. My chat is threatening oh, with more, way, more terrible games tonight. Oh, by the way, there is a Peggy the Peach 3. Uh, there are three games in the series, and the third one is in 3D. Ooh. Oh, I don't and it looks... Them. The graphics are about as good as the 2D version. <laughs> <laughs> like... Honestly, I played it for a little while and pretty much everybody got sick, including me. Uh, I fully recommend it. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well, I, I'll go ahead and let you, you go. I'm going to do a little bit more uh, Garfield, I think. <laughs> a week of Garfield. It's been a blast so far. I'm close to beating it. I can feel it. It's within my grasp. Last day uh, of the week. You better hurry up. What is it with you and comic strip games, Snoopy and Garfield? I don't know. I don't know, but a week of Garfield, it's so good. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, probably just like a three or four minute break. Uh, so, yeah, uh, those who want to watch, go ahead and chill. John, are you going to keep streaming after this? Uh, no, I'm going to take a break for a couple hours. I'm getting my main stream tonight. Sweet. What about you, Meekin? I'm going to play good games. Okay, so if you want to watch good games, go over to Meekin. Yeah, you. every once in a while you need, like, a cleanser, a time away from those. <laughs> Maybe a shower or two. <laughs> well, cool. Thank you again, and Plexel, thank you for commentating with me. That was a blast. Yeah, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. All right, and too. I'll see you all later, and I will keep the stream running. I'll be back in just a few. Take care. Meek and I'll see you, you for did. the Peggy the Peach rematch. Good gotcha. game. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Whoo, buddy! All right. That was a thing. All right. So I I'm not entirely lying. I actually had fun playing that. That was way more fun than the Peggy the Peach thing. That was way more playable too. Although, I did kind of like the ability to run in Peggy the Peach, so it was a weird trade-off. Whoo, buddy. All right. The downside is I still have to play more games. That's the downside. How far away from the end were we? Is there even a long play of this? There is a long play. It is an hour long, long play. Oh my God, it looks like we had a lot left. Oh my God, the rest of this looks like ass. Oh. Hang on.
on, let me... Let me flip the desktop cam here for a second. Uh, or... it could be locked up. This is about where we were, right? Yeah, this is about where we died. Holy shit, why does this version seem harder? What's going on here? Why does everything seem faster in this one? So that's what that lightning flash was. That's what I've been trying to figure out the entire time what the hell that was. But there were extra lives everywhere, which was nice. I wish I had figured out that the bonus games gave you one-ups if you actually got in the warp sooner. Because I kept I kept thinking the bell was actually just me jumping in the warp. So I stopped trying for a while. And then I got suspicious and tried it again. That's got to be a full level. Alright, so I was near the end of stage 7. But there's still, like, 20 minutes left of the video! Also, holy shit, this... That's a lot of points. That is a lot of points, holy crap. Yeah, I don't remember seeing big diamonds either on my run. I wonder if that's only if you have the full combo. Alright, so we have... Science. Lots of science. New projectiles that you can't stand on. This looks like the next bonus game, I think. Wow, these bonus games got really long. Holy shit, most of this video is this fucking bonus game! Or is this the boss fight? That's the boss fight! Hang on, let's rewind a bit. Wouldn't surprise me the game had rubber banding difficulty. That would actually be kind of clever of it. No, that is the final stage! Oh, and the B button finally does something! What does it do? 46, and it's about 55. This last stage took him 10 minutes alone! Jesus! This looks like a nightmare! Yeah, so the light has probably has to hit that crystal. That's exactly what it is. It's just a fucking light puzzle. Oh my god, that sucks. Oh, that's garbage. That sucks so much, dude! Jesus! There's multiple of them running around, and they probably insta-kill you! That's the worst part! And you have a time limit for all this!
I assume it just needs one spark to hit that big crystal, and then that's game. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Oh, have you gotten all the fruit as well on a stage you got a one-up? Hmm. But that would have taken forever, though. <laughs> now that's an ocean-ending screen if I've ever seen one. Right on the giant chin. <laughs> wow. Alright. Well, I was more interested before I saw that clusterfuck of a puzzle. Whoo, buddy. I gotta track down a copy of that at some point. Let me make sure I don't accidentally already have it. I doubt it, but you never know. You search the ground all around, but you found nothing. All right, I don't have it. Damn, all right. So what we're gonna do is, uh, was it 3.30 my time now? I'll aim to start around 7.30. So, I'm gonna be offline for about four hours, that'll let me play with the cat, run some errands, get cleaned up, and detox from that. And then we'll, uh, we'll do some fortune cookie tonight. So, that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. I'm gonna send you guys on a small little raid, meanwhile. It's not gonna be that big of a raid. I'm actually gonna use the actual raid command for once, I usually don't. If you know me, you know who we're raiding. We're raiding Gerard and the Completionist, who's doing a charity marathon right now. We're gonna raid with hashtag... Small Raid. So raid him with hashtag Small Raid. He's doing a charity marathon for mental health. Uh, in memory of his mother. So it's definitely a good cause. And I will see you guys later this evening for Fortune Cookie. Night, everybody.